So I'm going to show you how we can get this NPC here to build this emoji, fire emoji, up there in the sky. So let's get started. First, we need to go get the image of the emoji. So I'm on Emojipedia. I looked up fire, and there is the fire. Now, you do not want to... Um, this is actually, it's kind of like a font. So it's not an image you can download. So for you Chromebook users, you will use the control shift and this is the show windows button. And then you'll s drag a little selection and it saves in your images or downloads folder. Um, mine's a little different. I'm on windows. So I'm going to use the snip tool, which does a very similar thing to what your Chromebook thing does. It kind of dims it out. And now I want the teeny tiniest little one I can get and be real close to the edges on it if I can. There's my tiny little image. We'll call him Fire2 because I did this once before. And now that I have that image, I'm going to go to this website where I can convert it into blocks. Go to Editor, choose a file, Fire2, and you do not want it to use all blocks because if you do, I just hit Convert, and then if I go to Convert to Commands, Raw Commands, we have 195 commands to build that and it looks kind of messy I, I i just don't think it looks very good so if i go back and do this again and this time i'm going to fire to use custom and if i zoom in on this each one of those little things is gonna each one of the little blocks there is going to be a minecraft block and so i'm going to give it a uh, black orange maybe a couple shades of yellow so only four blocks so i'm going to go to custom and uncheck all this check mark right there so it's got no blocks right now and i'm going to say black concrete orange concrete yellow concrete and let's give it yellow wool too so it's got four different colors it can use to make that um, if you have a larger image, you definitely want to shrink it down um, to something less than 30 by 30 is usually a good idea. Um, it, all it really means is you have more commands to copy paste later, but it's more work later. So if I hit convert, it did a pretty nice job there, although it filled the edges with this. So I'm actually going to click on this little uh, delete thing with the paint bucket and just click once on there. Um, and then actually going to clean this up just a little bit i don't like some of these strays flying around mm, looks pretty good okay let's go with that now i do convert to commands raw commands what do we have before 195 or so now we have 47 much more doable so copy all that and then we can't go into Minecraft yet because Minecraft Education Edition that this tutorial is for will not understand some of these um, commands. So if I go to a new Google Doc or Microsoft Word if you have it and just paste and I need to tell it, it doesn't know what this Minecraft colon is. It does know what Concrete 15 is. If you look at the Block IDs website, um, lots of websites have these. If I just look up concrete and then black concrete, you'll see has a number 15 beside it. Um, that means it's just concrete with the number 15 right beside it. So if I scroll down, I always like to look at this give command. Um, but if I say um, concrete, uh, 15 it will know what that is so if I go back to my commands it knows what that is so we need to get rid of the Minecraft colon is basically the point so if I go to edit actually I'm gonna copy this first copy control C oops edit find and replace there yep paste that in there and don't put anything in the replace with because I want it to be deleted on all of them so I hit replace all and now that is gone on all of them. So now it knows what concrete 15 is, concrete one, wool four. Um, if I went and looked those up, let's say wool four, I was curious like what that is. Um, let me just go back here. 
Now if I just go into wool, wool four is this shade of yellow wool. So it knows what that is. Okay. Now we're going to paste in commands into our NPC. However, you can only do 16 in a chunk. Um, they don't let you do more than that. So I'm actually going to select all with control A or just highlight it all. Number it, the little numbers thing, numbered list. And every 16, I'm just going to hit enter and then backspace. So here's the first 16 and then to 32, enter backspace. And then to what, 48? Oh, we don't have one. Okay, so we're good. We only have three chunks. So I'm going to denumber everything because I don't want those numbers actually. Control A. No, I don't want that numbered. There we go. I don't actually want the numbers, but I did want them separated by chunks of 16. So, copy. Now we can go to Minecraft. And now we get our spawn NPC. So if you go into your inventory and just look up NPC and drag the little egg in there. Um, in order to actually use it, um, I have to be in world builder mode. So I go to the chat and do WB for world builder. Now when I right click with the egg, I get an NPC that I can right click and edit. Fireman. Sure. And then burn it. I don't know. Whatever you want him to say. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but here's what really matters is the advanced settings. Add command. And remember I copied those first 16 lines so I can just paste that. I love using the buttons because I can watch it happen then. So I'm going to put a button that just says one. And then add command. Go back here. Grab my next chunk. Copy. And then paste that. Button mode number two. Add command. And then finally my last chunk. I'm using alt tab by the way to switch between those. But go there. Button three. All right. Now with any luck, I have to leave world builder mode to actually talk to the person. World builder. And now when I right click, there, if I click one, it made the first chunk of blocks. If I talk to him again and hit two, he made the second chunk. If I talk to him again and hit three, he made the final chunks. Yay. Occasionally, it'll like leave a bunch of like holes or something like this. I'm not really sure why that is. So like on the first time I did this, I had to go fill those in manually. But this time I did it right. So there you go emojis in Minecraft Education Edition. Enjoy!